If Obama doesn't deliver change, the U.S. still has other potential candidates eager to lead the country. And one of them is Republican Ron Paul, who's poised to run for the presidency in 2012. Well, let's now cross to Priya Shrida. She's in our Washington studio. Um, interestingly enough, Priya, uh, Ron Paul hasn't actually yet announced he is running for this. So, so why have supporters already started his campaign at such an early stage? That's right, Bill. Well, nothing's official just yet, but if you go to Ron Paul's website, there's a question there that says, do you think Ron Paul should run for president in 2012? And you can even buy Ron Paul for president merchandise. So people are getting pretty psyched for the 2012 election, even though it's kind of far away. And joining me to help talk about Ron Paul's popularity is Shelly Roche from the Ladies of Liberty Alliance. Shelly, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So first of all, why do you think Ron Paul's becoming so popular right now? Well, I think it's a, a number of factors, but really when you look at the direction we're going as a country and, you know, all of these big frightening things that are happening like the bailouts and the economy and health care, you know, he's kind of the one voice of reason that's standing up and saying, you know, we don't need all of this. We, we do have other options. And, you know, he's always, he always makes sense. And I think that really resonates with people. And what do you think? Do you think he's going to run for office in 2012? I have a feeling you're hoping he will, <laughs> but do you think he actually will? I, I do. I definitely hope he will. And I think he recognizes that it would be a smart move to at least position himself to do that because that's really what launched him you know, back in 2008 into kind of the media and, and got him a lot of momentum. And so I think this is another big opportunity for him to kind of capitalize on that and just go for it and, you know, set himself up to do it and we'll see what happens. So, you know, he's becoming more popular, but realistically, I mean, do you think he has a chance and what are some of the challenges he might face? Well, um, I think he has a better chance than he had last year. Um, one of the biggest challenges he's going to face is, you know, resistance from within the Republican Party because, you know, he, he's kind of at cross purposes with them in some of their, their platform items and um, trying to reform the Republican Party, he's going to meet with a lot of resistance. So I think his message resonates with, you know, Republicans and Democrats and it's really he's going to have to overcome that kind of obstacle. And what ideas specifically do you think resonates the most with the American people that Ron Paul sort of stands for or advocates? Well, I think it's, you know, the economic freedom um, that, you know, the fiscal responsibility and, and just ending kind of corruption and the entrenched kind of politics as usual kind of system. He doesn't play that game and he kind of brings a new perspective to politics and what it can be. So I think that really gets people excited. And do you think his popularity right now is a direct correlation of President Obama's kind of sliding approval ratings? Or do you think that people are kind of just looking for something that's a little different? I think it's a combination. I think, you know, the, the degree to which, you know, we've started expanding government and really the, the debt and, and the economy has really contributed to people starting to think about, you know, maybe this isn't the right direction. Um, and so that certainly helps, but also it's just kind of, he has a totally different perspective. He has a consistent voting record. He's been in politics forever. So it, he kind of offers that assurance that he's not, you know, he's not going to succumb to special interests and that sort of thing. He's kind of representing the people and always doing what he thinks is best for the country, whether you agree with it all the time or not, you know, at least you have that. And, you know, how do you think, you've kind of talked about this a little bit, but how do you think the country would be different right now if Ron Paul was president and not Barack Obama? Wow, I, I think there are so many ways, you know, we, we would have never, we wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't be talking about health care the way we are, you know, we'd be talking about different kinds of reforms. So, you know, maybe smaller steps that are more practical and, and you know, limiting the size of government, getting rid of wasteful programs, you know, real reform, not just the kind of reform that expands government and costs trillions of dollars. And the last thing I want to ask you really quickly is, you know, a year ago today, Barack Obama found out that he was elected as president of the United States. How do you think things have changed from a year ago till today? Well, um, you know, you can look, you can look at, the, at the approval ratings and that sort of thing. But something I saw online last night and, and today, they were asking people to submit one word to describe how they felt about uh, the first year of the presidency. And, you know, the Republicans, you could kind of guess what they were going to say, outraged, betrayed, you know, scared. But on the Democrat side, they were saying, you know, things like 
you know, hopeful and the things you would expect. But they were also saying disappointed, you know, anxious. And I think that really is a barometer of the way people are kind of starting to be a little bit nervous that he's not really delivered on his promises so far. And, you know, some of that support is, is waning, I think. Well, I think there's a lot of people out there like Shelley who will anxiously be awaiting to see what happens with Ron Paul next. But for now, Bill, it's back to you. Thanks very much indeed. That's uh, correspondent Priya Shrida talking to Shelley Roche from the Libertarian Organization, the Ladies of Liberty Alliance, live in our Washington studio. Thanks very much indeed there, Priya.